Hey, what's up, guys? It's uh, Xbox 360 Professor here with another tutorial. And what I'm going to do today is actually show you how to check your Xbox whether it's been flagged for banning, if it's going, if it's banned already, or if it's still good. So let's go ahead and get started. The first thing that you want to do is actually uh, get the two values off your Xbox 360, which is going to be the uh, console serial and the X value. I believe it's the uh, encrypted X value. So I'll show you where those are at on your dashboard. All right, from the dashboard, we're gonna actually go to your system settings, your console settings, your system info, and the two values that you want are gonna be the console serial number, which is right there at the very top, and your X value, which is going to be at the very bottom, right there. So make a mark of those two values right there. So we're going to go ahead and switch back to my machine. And the, the program that we're going to be using to check all this is going to be called XVAL right here. So the two things that you need to put in here are the console serial number and the encrypted X value number. So what I'm going to do is go ahead and enter the one for my band one and just uh, show you what the output is going to be. Put both the values in and we just click on the decrypt button and right there it's been flagged with the decrypted value of 400 and the result says console banned. So that means that tells you that if it hasn't been banned yet that means it will get banned but um, I guess in this case um, if it already gets banned and you can't, can't connect to Xbox Live and you're wondering what's, what's going on with it. Um, it'll probably tell you it's been banned. So, um, from what I understand is that if, uh, if it's flagged for banning, this result down here is going to say something maybe like it can be. It'll give you some kind of error. Uh, I don't know the exact error, but it's the exact uh, phrase for the error, but it'll say either something's dirty, or some sector is dirty, or um, something else. But you're, you're definitely not going to get this. So just to um, see what a clean Xbox looks like, we're going to go ahead and put them on the jet one. Now, if you put it, I think I put the wrong key in, but if you put the wrong information in, if, you know, if you, if you either put in the wrong serial number or the wrong X value, it should give you a set data decryption error. Um, but this is my legit one right here, so I, I just uh, copied my, uh, my number wrong off the good console. So if, uh, if, you get, if you get this value right here where it's all zeros and it says set data is clean, that means as of right now, your Xbox 360 is assumed to be good, meaning it's safe to play on live. Uh, that you haven't, you know, played any bad copies to cause it to for the system to be flagged. So that's what you want to see. So hopefully, your systems, all your systems, are um, giving this output right here. So that's pretty much it. Um, it's a good, handy tool just to check. Uh, especially maybe if you buy used consoles in the future, 
you know, when you buy from either eBay or Craigslist or anything like that, and you want to make sure that the system that you have or that you're going to buy is legit, you can always, you know, ask, ask the person or ask the seller, you know, for those two pieces of information, the serial number and the encrypted X value. You could just run that check using this program, this X file program, and I'll let you know if the system is, um, is good or not. So if you have any comments or questions, feel free to leave some comments on the page, and I'll do my best to try to... Uh, Try to respond to him, so this is Xbox 360 Professor signing off, so I'll see y'all later. Later.